We love our roads so much. We love them so much that we are ready to build roads all over the world. But roads can become the future of renewable energy. Yes, energy can be generated from roads. How? By making them from solar panels. Do we have such technology? Can we give power to the whole world? And what are the disadvantages of it? In 2017, the UK promised that it will run 100% renewable energy by 2025. And India promised 50% renewable energy by 2030. Still, the UK still has a long journey to go. In 2020, their energy was coming from 40% renewable sources. Whereas India has reached 38% in 2022. Can the roads made from solar panels be the answer to this? Energy is generated when the photons coming out of the sun hit a silicon solar panel. Silicon is a semiconductor and its properties are similar to metal and an electrical insulator. So when the sun's photons collide with the silicon atoms of a solar cell, they lose their energy by transferring electrons, which makes them separate from the silicon atoms. This generates electricity. Since 2000, the use of renewable energy has increased by 200% worldwide. It sounds good for the solar industry. Whereas in 2019, 17,013 watt-hours of renewable energy were made worldwide. Only 3% of this came from solar. By changing the ways in which so many roads generate energy, solar energy will begin to run ahead in the race of renewable sources. But how many solar roads will we need? In 2016, WeWatt made a 1-kilometer long solar road in France. This generated about 280 megawatt hours of energy every year. This was enough to give power to 25 houses for 12 months. The UK has about 400,000 kilometers of roads. If only 20% of these roads are converted, then about 81,000 kilometers of new solar panel roads will be made. The energy generated from these roads will be only 5% of the total energy consumption of a year in the UK. And its price? The cost of making a one kilometer long road in Normandy, France was 50, 00, 000, 000 euros, or about 55 million US dollars. And this will be enough to empty the pockets of a city to a great extent. So let's hope that before making a road of 81,000 kilometers, but how will these solar roads change the world? The biggest change and the most important reason behind making solar roads is to reduce carbon dioxide which is the biggest hand behind climate change in the world. Many roads are currently made of asphalt or dammer. This material soaks 80 to 95% of the sun's rays, which increases the heat on the roads and in the surrounding areas. This process is called urban heat island effect. Making solar roads will reduce this effect, which will make the roads and cities colder than they are now, because these solar roads will be made all over the world. The coal industry will have to lower its shutters and we will need less petroleum for asphalt. Many people will lose their jobs. Governments will have to make such programs so that workers can be prepared for the construction of solar roads. Then comes the roads themselves. To make these roads, the solar panels are placed between glass, silicone rubber, and concrete sheets. This will increase slip in the roads, especially during rain or snowfall. To relieve stress on these roads, a solid coating will be needed and this coating should be safe for the environment and humans. Or will we make the tires of cars with some other material and improve them so that they can hold on to the roads better? One more way to do this is to make smart solar roads. These roads will have such technology that they keep their surface above the freezing temperature. Electric cars can be charged while driving and LEDs are used for shiny surface markings. There are many obstacles to this new technology and spending, material and safety are the most important. But will it be right to invest in research and development? In 2014, the Netherlands had made a solar cycle path. This 70-meter cycle path produced 3,000 kilowatt hours of energy. In other words, a small house could be given power for a year from the solar cycle path. This means that the carbon left behind could be recycled very well. Despite existing obstacles, the roads made of solar can be made possible in the future. However, there are many other ways to use solar panel technology for renewable energy. So why limit your thinking to Earth? There is a lot of space on the moon. Is it possible to use solar panels on the moon to get energy from there? Want to know? Then keep watching. Red Ray?